This is my RV. It's a 1996. It's got a GMC 454 engine in it, fuel injected, and it's built on a P30 chassis. My old, my other old RVs have had an overheating problem, so I didn't want this one to also give me trouble. And it does get hot when I'm towing a vehicle going up mountain passes in hot summer weather. And so I installed a misting system I want to show you. See these tubes here? I'll show you what the misting system looks like here in a second as far as the package. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards. But it's a misting system that you put on around a patio or a doghouse. And so I built it into the hardwired or hard tubed it into the plumbing system. And I've got valves by the driver's seat that I can turn on and off. And so going up hot passes, I can turn these on as you can see the different locations. I've got nine of them all together. I can turn on three or six or nine. Got them zip tied in so they don't move around. So it sprays water that gets picked up by the radiator and it helps with dissipating heat. As you can see, that you use a harder water, it's going to leave a deposit, and that's not desirable either. So it's better to use soft water, as soft as possible. And then also, I may need to wash these fins periodically, like with a lime away solution or something to get rid of the carbonates and the minerals that might get built up on the fins. But I ran this, went to Yellowstone and back, and it worked excellent. I could tell when it was cooling, helping with the cooling process, and when it was getting up on the high side of the normal range, I would turn on the misters, and I, I ran them for probably hours and hours during the trip. Let's see, we did... Like 30 hours of driving, I had them on for many hours, most of the time just the three at one time. But going up some long hills and hot afternoon weather, I would turn on all nine misters. This was the misting kit that I got from, I guess I got this one from Lowe's, but they sell the same one at Home Depot. So it's Orbit's Orbit brand, and it's simply called cooling system. It comes with the tubing. It's really designed to be plugged into a hose system, but it comes with the little nozzles, and it was about 15 or 16 bucks. Cut the end off, zip tied it into my location, and it worked very well. You can hear it misting. And you can see it misty into the engine. And so that gets picked up. The fans are going, sucking in the air. You're driving down the road. And it provides a lot of water into the system to help dissipate the heat. Worked very well. I was very happy with it. I also put in these holes in the front here. I think the RV company just thought about the RV part and not the truck part as much and so I think the airflow was lacking. The solid part blocks off about 40% of the radiator so I installed, cut these holes. There are about two inch holes, six inches on center, seven of them and I think that helped quite a bit too to get more air into the radiator. Obviously when uh, when you're going down the road you don't have any water that's dripping down below but that just kind of shows the amount of water. I think it's probably several gallons an hour. Several gallons an hour 
of water that's being provided. Okay, thought this was an innovative idea. I, one of my buddies, my one of my army buddies, thought of this idea. He applied it to a piece of equipment over in the desert, around the world, and so I thought about it and created a system here for my RV. This is simply just a air intake. The, again, the RV company I think didn't do such a great job. The air intake was up here and it was blocked by the solid part of the body. And so I simply ran some tubing here to get it to the front so the air intake would get some cooler, fresher air and probably more of it by bringing the air intake to the grill. That's it. You can see my tubing here that I've run. I've connected it in underneath the sink to the pressurized system using the Quick Connects, the PEX Quick Connects type of supplies and then these valves. So I've got two different systems here, one for three and one for nine. I'll go ahead and turn these on and we'll go take a look at it. But as I'm driving, I would just turn these on as needed to go take a look.